Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. It is officially summer. It is my favorite season. Honestly, I don't know. I like spring, but like this year spring was a little bit weird. It rained a lot, which is a springy thing, but the weather was strange. So I'm looking forward to the summer. Figure today we would do a simple, natural, everyday summer makeup look. You guys know I love a quick one, two, three kind of makeup routine in and out the door. We look our best. We feel our best, but we want to get on with our day. So if that is your vibe, that is always the kind of makeup I strive to do here. Simple, we kind of just take our features, enhance them, just so we feel better about ourselves. And when we feel better about ourselves, we bring the best version of ourselves throughout our life. And that is something that I work on on a day-to-day -day basis. It is a never-ending journey. I'm striving to be a better person. I'm striving to feel more comfortable in my skin. I feel like this is gonna be really chatty and I don't want it to be so chatty because today I am filming this video obviously because here we are and I'm also filming my summer necessities video I have a long list I've been serious in my little Google Docs all of the things that I purchased in preparation for the summer watched old videos of myself and things that I've recommended in years past so I am just summer ready and I think that you need to be summer ready as well. If you're interested in seeing my summer necessities video, make sure you're subscribed and click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification when that video goes live. But without further ado, let's focus on the present moment, which is what I've been trying to do a bit more lately. Summer makeup routine that is gonna get us in and out of the door quickly while helping us to feel our best. I don't know about you, but I have personally hit my caffeine limit for the day, so it is water for me. I'm cutting back on caffeine. If you watched my most recent vlog, I spoke upon my anxiety and how me limiting my caffeine intake throughout the day has been miraculous for my mental health. I feel like I'm less manic and less anxious, which is always a good thing. I applied all of my skincare without you. I'm so sorry, but I'm wearing my Shiseido Ultimune Serum. On top of that, I put a little bit of the Tatcha water cream. Layered on top of that, I put my Dr. Dennis Gross SPF 50 and I put my Ule Henriksen Banana Bright on dry cream. So we are hydrated. We are protected from the UV rays. And before we do anything else, I'm going to pop on Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask because I want my lips to be juicy and delicious by the time we get to them. Also on my nails, this is a very old polish. I bought it a few years ago. She chipped within the first two days and I feel like that's a pretty good indicator of how your nail polish is, like if it's too old, if it chips very quickly because OPI, I could wear an OPI manicure for a good two weeks, but this is Strawberry Margarita by OPI, a beautiful kind of summery hot pink shade. Now this has just been the way that I have been doing my makeup. I've been going in, starting with concealer. I love this one. It is the Forever Skin Corrector by Dior. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in the areas of my face that I'm red. I wanna bring forward just to like highlight the center of my face. Summer is all about light layers. We get hot. If our makeup is too thick, it will melt off of our face. It will make us feel uncomfortable. Farrah 820FF. It has cute little daisies on it. Perfect for the summer, right? And I'm just gonna press this concealer into my skin. And I am not about full coverage. I think that you can play up your features, including your imperfections. If you're someone that has dark circles, which I definitely have dark circles, you can play them up by not bringing the concealer in all the way and kind of just letting your dark circles frame your eye. It'll kind of give a little bit of like a shadow effect. Hopefully you can see it in the camera. I like to take away the darkness right in here. Kind of let the darkness frame my eye a little bit. It kind of gives a shadow, which I'm not into colors. You know this if you watch my channel. I don't like colorful shadows. I kind of like neutrals, browns, anything that looks natural. So, you know, what looks more natural than the natural darkness of your under eyes, you know? We're all beautiful. Everyone brings beautiful things to the table and no one looks like you but you. So, you know, embrace it. I don't know. This is all a part of me and my journey. I don't know. I feel like I've always been a pretty confident person, but ever since losing my dad, I do feel like some days I'm a little harder on myself. Some days I wake up and I just feel like I should be further along than I am, but it's one day at a time. And we gotta love ourselves. We gotta take a deep breath. We have to drink a lot of water. And this is what you get into. This is what you sign up for when watching my videos. It is about makeup, but like, is it really about makeup? Not really. 
it's really not. This has just been a technique that I've been really loving lately. I take a cat paw brush. This is a It Cosmetics Seamless Foundation Brush, but it looks like a cat paw, see? Sheer Glow Foundation. I take, I don't wanna get it on my new dress. This dress is from Madewell. I just got it from Rent the Runway. I'm thinking about buying it because they're having a sale. All of the things that you rent from them, they're giving you 30% off. So I might get it and I think it'll come out to like 70 bucks, which I think is worth it. Because if you watch my vlogs and you watch my hauls, it's very hard for me to find clothes that fit me, especially dresses. I'm picking up the foundation from the back of my hand and I'm working it into the brush because I want this foundation to not even like really look like foundation. Stamping it and swiping it on my face. I'll do one half of my face and show you. I don't know why. I've been really gravitating towards this kind of brush lately. It pushes it into the skin. It kind of makes the product one with the skin, which again, see I'm picking it up on the back of my hand, is something that we like to do, or at least I like to do in the summer because light layers, my friends. Light layers will get you far. It will help your makeup to last longer. It helps you to not be as uncomfortable on hot summer days. It feels like we're wearing nothing on the skin. And I mix between like a stamping mode Motion. Stamping will give you more coverage. So I don't know if you could see here, but I have dark spots no matter how hard I try to keep my face out of the summer sun. And no matter how many times I reapply my damn SPF, my sunspots will not go away. So stamping will give you a little bit more coverage while swiping will sheer out the coverage. Anywhere where you have discoloration, you want to stamp. And then anywhere where you just want things to be uniform, I swipe. And I like to swipe on the forehead. When you have a lot of makeup on the forehead, it's noticeable because your skin is so thin on your forehead. So this is one side with the foundation, and this is one side with just the concealer. You can't really tell a big difference, but this side just looks a bit more uniformed and a bit more blurred. A little PSA from me to you, you always want to bring a bit of foundation down your neck, especially in the summer where we tend to pick darker foundations. I don't do that, but I know that a lot of people do. I don't get very tan and this is pretty tan for me. One, I don't really tan that much and two, you can always darken your complexion using bronzer, which is something that we're going to do today. So I just, I don't think that going out and spending 40, 50, 60 dollars on a new foundation for the season is necessary. I am someone that is an advocate for using the products that you already have and not spending all of your money. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, which who doesn't love money and who doesn't love to save their money? Come to the right place, my friend. I am the kind of person where no matter what the season is, I always layer my makeup, cream, and then I'll put powder on top of the cream because it helps to keep your makeup in place all day long. I will show you what I mean, but this is my contour stick. This is by OG and this is in the shade Copper. I love a contour stick. I feel like it's just one, two, three, done. You go directly onto the face. Could pick it up with a brush, but that is simply what I do. Yensa, this is a bronzer brush. Blend this into the skin. I like to start out underneath my jaw because I feel like, you know, your jaw naturally has a shadow. So it doesn't need to be perfect. You do want to blend it and you do want to try your hardest to make it look good, but it doesn't need to be perfect. And I find that that kind of like primes the brush with more product so that in the places where it matters more, like your face, because there's no shadow here, when I walk outside, if I have a stripe on the side of my face, you're gonna see the stripe. <laughs> Whereas if there's a little bit of a stripe down here, you're not gonna see it, because see, there's a natural shadow. So I like to do my jawline to just prime the brush. This way, when a brush is primed, like I primed this cat paw, with my foundation on the back of my hand. So I'm kind of using the product on my jaw to prime this brush. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you don't know what I'm saying. I don't really think I'm a very articulate person, but a lot of people, aside from my husband, a lot of people say that I'm very articulate and I find that to be shocking because I think half of the things I say don't make any damn sense. Make sure you bring it up to the hairline. So see how my hair is like this? I'm gonna lift my hair up and really get it in there just in case, you know, I get hot, I redo my hair, I might change my hairline so that you see a little bit of my skin because if you have bronzer, and then skin, it looks like you're wearing a mask. And I don't know about you. I'm trying to look like myself, but better. So I wanna look natural. Then I take what's ever left over on my brush and I just put it in the crease. Do you wanna hear something that I did to myself? Because I'm a jerk. I gave myself a chemical burn on my eyes. I don't know if you can see, but it, it's like, it looks like I have eczema on my eye right here. I don't know if my my thing will zoom. I opened a an eye cream that I had in my skincare closet in the bathroom and I started using this eye cream. And I'm a jerk because I didn't read 
leave the eye cream, it has some kind of acid in it that helps to remove any dead skin around your eyes. So I was washing my face, going in with my exfoliating toner, and then going in with an exfoliating eye cream and I basically gave myself a chemical burn because I just exfoliated the crap out of my skin. So this has been something that I've been dealing with. I am trying a bunch of different products. I think I finally have a good handle on how to make this better and I'm going to talk about it in my June favorites video which I cannot believe that June is almost over. It's like honestly wild how crazy the time is flying. This is from Merit Stockholm. Look at how beautiful this color is. Look at that. It is a beautiful light baby pink and it blends out like a dream. I don't want to dirty more brushes because the more brushes I dirty, the more I need to clean them. Does that not scream summer? Look at that color and it goes beautiful with blue. Look at that. Ugh. And I'm just gonna pat that over where I just put my bronzer and I am a blush girl. I've always loved blush. I love that everyone else is now loving blush. In the beginning of my YouTube career, people would make a lot of comments like this isn't the 80s and whatnot. I would get that all the time. But now that it's back, I'm like, <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the bandwagon that you all jumped on. Not all of you, but you know what I'm saying for those who have said things. That you all jumped on that I've been on for the last, I don't even know how many years I've had my YouTube channel. It's been a lot of years. That is the blush. Super cute, super sweet. I'll take a little bit more into the crease of my eye because we all know I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow. I kind of let my base products do all of the eyeshadow talking. So I kind of just did a W and then a little bit into the crease of my eye. This is the exception to the rule for me. I am not a highlighter wearer. I'm a firm believer that a good jutsy skincare routine can go far for you. So look at my skin, like, ooh, she's shiny. But I really do like this Merit Kava Highlighting Balm. So it's the highlighting balm in the shade Kava. Take it on the back of my hand. I like to warm products up on the back of my hand. A big part of summer makeup, like I said, those thin layers. I keep repeating myself, but if you warm product up on the back of your hand, it helps to thin out the product. That's why I always say if you own a thicker foundation, put it on the back of your hand. This foundation has been sitting on the back of my hand and it will get runnier. The warmth of your skin helps to warm up product, which helps to create a thinner formula all a part of technique. I love makeup. Like I said, I'm a firm believer that you should use what it is that you have. You can use what you have in different ways, in different techniques, to get a different finish to the skin, to get a different look to the eyes. You should find products that you like and enjoy using. And then once you have a good baseline, then you can learn different techniques to use those products in different ways. I just, that's just kind of my makeup technique. That's kind of like who I am as a makeup artist. I don't know if any of this is making sense. I'm gonna take that highlighter that I just warmed up on the back of my hand. See, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh, ooh. And it mimics the natural highlight on my skin. This is what this side looks like. So I don't know if you can see. It's kind of just a little bit more amped up. And I like to apply it again with my fingers because as I'm patting it into the skin, I'm warming up the highlight and I'm also warming up what's ever on my face already, helping it to melt down and sink into the skin easier. We don't want makeup to sit on top of our skin because if it sits on top of our skin, it's gonna melt. Time to layer with powder. This is the best powder. I hate to say it, like I have been trying trying so many powders just to like mix it up because I'm so tired of this effing powder. But this is the best one. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre. I purchased shade two. It has four different colors, a white, a yellow, a beige, and a pink. And I kind of just put them all in here. Pick on my puff. But before I pick on my puff, I'm gonna take my concealer brush and I'm gonna pat out the fine lines. Well, I'm patting out the product that has moved into my fine lines. I'm picking up with this little puff and I'm gonna pick up more of the peach and the pink shade in here and I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna pat. This powder just like blurs your face. I can't explain it. And it really does a great job of making your makeup last. So that's why this powder for me is a summer necessity. Clean up underneath. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take what's ever left over on here and just go over my nose, just right here. I don't like a shiny nose. Everybody's got their own preference. A little bit more on my puff like this and I'm just gonna bake a little bit, just like right here. I don't like when I get shiny in here. And I like to use the white powder here because it helps to brighten. I have marionette lines. They're not terrible, but like right here, you can see that it kind of like dips a little in. So by adding white powder, it will bring that section of my face forward so you don't really see that kind of 
divot as much, you know, it's not as potent. I'm just gonna leave it like this for a little bit. You can also powder your forehead, like anywhere where you get very oily is where I would put an extra layer of, pow an extra layer of powder, let it sit. This is an example, ladies and gentlemen, of finding products that work for you and not straying away from them. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I finally hit pan. She has lasted me a lifetime. I use her for everything. I use her as eyeshadow. I use her as bronzer. I'm gonna use another Farrah brush. This is a 860F and I'll do one side of my face just to show you the difference. And I'm still leaving that hair. So let's ignore that white powder that's by my nose. <laughs> Anywho, and I'm just using this to help set the contour. So the contour stick that we used before, you guys remember, to set that cream so that it lasts me all day long. This makeup will last 12 hours. If I wear it for the next 12 hours, I guarantee you. I'm gonna take a little bit more and I kind of just put it on the side of my nose and I'll put it in the crease of my eye. Now, can you see how this side just looks a little healthier, a little bit warmer, like I got extra sun. This side, still chiseled, you could just skip this all together, but I guarantee you that if you layer powder on top of cream, it will last you longer, and that is the name of the game with summer makeup. I'm gonna take this bake off. You could leave this on as long as you want, but I think I'm done with it, so I'm just gonna take a little powder brush kind of just whisk it away but not like whisking kind of like pressing it into the skin so that it stays there all day long i'm going to set my blush with powder blush this has just been my favorite palette lately i don't know i've had this in my collection for a long time as well jouet blush duo in the combo adore so this is adore me the darker and this is hold me and i'm also going to use that same brush i just applied my powder with i'm going to take the darker one and i'm going to keep it in the back and i'm going to bring it into the crease just just like that. Can you see how that just kind of lifted this side of my face by keeping it to the back of my face? I've been playing with makeup so much lately. Um, I'm loving it. Not playing with new products, but I've just been playing around with my techniques. And I think that that's what I love the most about makeup. I'm not really, I'm kind of over the whole latest, greatest, buying the newest and shiniest thing. I'm really just back into my makeup artistry and just kind of perfecting it and learning how to do things differently so that I get a different effect. Again, rather than going out and buying something to get that different effect. Because I think that that's something that as influencers, we're all guilty of, as consumers, we're all guilty of. Like, it's kind of just like, ooh, look what I bought, look what I bought, it's so good. I don't know, sometimes what you have is better. I'm gonna take the lighter shade now and I'm gonna bring this closer to the center of my face. And can you see how that just kind of like marries everything together just a little bit? I think it looks a bit more natural. A combo of both. And this is my favorite thing. I don't know why. Just like this motion of putting it over the bridge of my nose. I don't know why I love it so much. And it gives a cute little like sun-kissed look. This is a higher end setting spray, one that I've been using a lot. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is like cement for your makeup. It will make your makeup last all day long. If you want a more affordable version, I love the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I will link this as well as the Milani down below. Ooh, I also did want to mention that I created an Amazon storefront. I do make a commission. If you buy something through my storefront, I will just be fully transparent with you. I don't make the money from you though. I make the money from Amazon. So if the product is $8, you will pay $8 and then Amazon gives me like a few cents for every purchase that I make. But I'm just like so enjoying the creation of my storefront. Like I love it so much. I will put one link to all the products that I am mentioning today. You can obviously shop my entire Amazon storefront, but for each video, I'm going to curate a storefront for that video. So if you scroll down below, you just need to expand the bottom. So where it says description, you just expand so that you can see the whole box, the whole text box, where you will find all my social links where you can contact me, but also these products and I will have one link. You click that and you can shop directly from Amazon. Elf Wow Brown. This is in the shade Neutral Brown. And I'm gonna start in the center. No, I'm starting like right before the front of my brow, just right here. Araceli BB Brow Pencil, and I like to use blonde just because my hair is dark. It's like a cool toned brown, honestly. It's not even really that blonde, but I'm not filling in the whole brow, but I'm looking in a mirror that's close up, and I'm also looking in my vanity mirror over here just to make them a bit more symmetrical. I like a more natural brow. I mean, I always love a natural brow. You know, I love a big 
bushy natural brow. It's just my vibe. I feel like it's even more of my vibe now that my dad's not here anymore because I get these big old brows from my dad. I used to sit here and I used to just take so much time to do my brows and it kind of just gets to the point where it becomes too much because it's like a wing liner. Like you know when you put a wing liner on and you're like shit this one is so much bigger than this one and then you just keep going and going and going and then they just get longer and longer and bigger that's what happens when i spend too much time on my eyebrows really not been wearing a lot of eyeshadow like i said i like to take a little bit of bronzer throw it in and now that i have burned the skin off of my eyelids it's not fun but i'm gonna do a little bit more because i want to do a little bit more it's the summer i'm taking care of my mental health my physical health and i want to just look like me but better i got this off of Amazon. I will link it below, obviously, in that one link where you can find everything. Everlust Shimmer Cream Shadow in Dazzling Brown. Kiss of color. Kind of looks like a bronzer with sparkle in it. Can we see here? How pretty. Pick it up with my finger. I'm going to start in the center of my lid. I'm not bringing it further than the crease because see, it's shimmery. It's so pretty and I feel like it's going to look beautiful with this dress. I love this dress. I'm going to buy it as soon as I'm done filming. I really am. I have to buy it. I will show it to you. Any crease brush. It doesn't need to be the Scott Barnes one that I have, um, which is... 62. A tapered blending brush. And I'm just gonna frame my eye with this and I'm not gonna be too particular, but I'm gonna start here. I guess a little particular, but I like to start here because I find that like putting the shadow right where your pupil is, right above it, helps to frame the eye nicely and kind of just helps your eye pop. Then I'm gonna go in and then I'm gonna go out just to like frame the eye, just to give a little bit of depth kind of just help the eyes blend into the rest of the face see how like on this side my eyes are looking a little small in comparison so this helps to bring the eyes back in look at this eye i just feel like this eye looks like it fits in with the rest of my face more so than this eye this is my favorite eyeliner this is honeybee gardens in belgian chocolate line the lid a little bit i'm not gonna do a wing i kind of just want i'll show you what i want i just want there to be a little bit more definition to my waterline I don't know if you could see, but that kind of just like elongates the eye a little bit. Put some in the waterline and a little bit up top. Like I'm keeping this like so close to my lid that you can't even tell that I'm wearing eyeliner. But can you see the difference? It just looks more put together. Oh my God, my eye skin is so terrible. Why is that lash clash? I love this. And again, the browns. I'm just in my brown era, damn it. I really am loving brown hair. I'm getting my hair done in two weeks. I think I'm gonna go darker and I think I'm gonna go a bit more red. I don't know, what do we think? I'm just in a new phase of my life, I think. Feel more me. I've been going back to my roots a little bit more in the recent year. I don't know, I think like losing my dad, I'm kind of like a phoenix rising. I'm kind of just like embracing my natural features more. I went darker with the hair. I used to be pretty blonde. My dad gave me my brown hair. I've been embracing the big bushy brows because again, I got the big bushy brows from my dad. Got a bunch of tattoos. My dad had a bunch of tattoos. I don't know. My not love language, I guess like grief language. I find comfort in remembering. Like I find comfort in looking at pictures of my dad. I find comfort in talking about my dad. I find comfort in going to visit the bench that we had made in honor of my dad. Like that's one thing, like my dad's cremated and I have some of his ashes here. I just really like going somewhere. Take the time to carve out of my day to go visit my dad as I used to do when he was alive. You know, I'd go visit my mom and my dad and that would carve out a bit of my day and a bit of my time. So the bench has been really nice, really good part of my healing journey. But you know, I joke all the time about how I am materialistic and it's funny how just simply getting a bench with my dad's name on it with song lyrics that he loved, just like having that physical, tangible thing has been and really good for me. It's so crazy to think about, no, I'm so sorry, this is about makeup, but I said it's never really about makeup. Just think about how my life was like five years ago and how different it is now. It is such a weird, such a weird thing. I'm gonna take my ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This is in the shade Ashton. Line my lips very lightly. Kind of just line the very top and I line the very bottom. I don't go into the inner corners. I don't love this formula. I like more of a pencil. This is like too creamy. I like something a little stiffer when it comes to my lip liner. It's a really pretty color. And again, it goes very, the theme of me this summer is 
blue and a light pink and I just feel like this is a beautiful kind of like neutral brown that goes great with blues and pinks. Finally finding the colors that make me look more alive. NYX Lip Fat Oils. I love these. I, honestly, every day, Monday through Friday, I wear one of these. This is in Newsfeed, but again, it kind of has that berry pink undertone color to it. It's super hydrating, super juicy, but I just want to wear something different today because I'm not at the office and I've been wearing that literally every single day. Elf O Face in Standing Ovation. It's a really pretty color. You could leave it like this, but I want to lighten it up just a bit. I want to wear like summery tones. Not that this is not a summery tone but I just feel like this screams summer juicy peachy lip just to make them a bit more juicy a bit more hydrated this picks up the light a little bit better in the center of my lips and it makes them look a bit cowier I'm gonna grab my morphe continuous setting spray also this is the dress how cute is she cinch waist here the little keyholes how cute is this I just feel like this fits me so well and if you watch my hauls you know clothes never fit I know we used the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and I can show you right now how I like to layer them so when my skin is really dry this is not hydrating this is like I said cement this is hydrating feels good on the skin so I'm just gonna let my skin sit in that hydrate the fachin now I'm just gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury again so you get a little bit of hydration and then you get a little bit of long lasting to just lock it all in. This is the finished summer makeup look. Let me know what we think. You know, it's not crazy. We layered things nicely so that it lasts all day long. We picked really beautiful summer colors, but very natural colors. You know, this is a beautiful look for day, for night, for date night, for girls night, friends night, whatever night you have. Like this is a very versatile makeup look. Everything goes with it. It'll go with your clothing. It'll go with whatever lip you decide. It's just very neutral. And I love a versatile makeup look, whether it's the spring, summer, fall, winter, a put together skin where you can see my imperfect perfection still you know like I don't like to cover it all up I like to look like me and I feel most comfortable when I am owning me and that has just been a little part of my journey if you enjoyed this video do be sure to leave it a big thumbs up down below if you're not subscribed subscribe I feel like you and I would get along we'd have a great time my voice just cracked oh my god the other day at work someone said something really funny and I snorted when I was laughing and it was I really wasn't that embarrassed in the moment, but it's like a little mortifying. I don't know. Anywho, I am me. Let me know down below in the comments because I love to talk to you guys. Honestly, the reason that I even upload these videos is because I love my community. I love chit-chatting with you guys. And I feel like I've really created a friendship with some of you. So let me know down below in the comments section. What are some beauty products that you are loving currently? Are there products that you only wear in the summer? I would love to hear them. Make sure you're subscribed and click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification when I upload my summer necessities video. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend with me and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.